Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the national symbols of India. We will discuss the 16 symbols that you can see on your screen. These symbols are intrinsic to our Indian identity, culture and heritage. These national symbols bring out our values and the gifts of our motherland that we cherish. They infuse a sense of pride and patriotism in every Indian's heart. So it's very important that Indians of all demographic backgrounds across the world like you and me know about them and feel proud about them. Let's discuss the very first of these symbols, the national flag of India, which is also known as Tiranga. Tiranga means three colors. saffron or kesariya at the top white in the middle and green at the bottom in equal proportion the ratio of width of the flag to its length is 2 is to 3 the design of the national flag was adopted by the constituent assembly of india on 22nd july 1947 our national flag was designed by pingli venkaiah In our national flag, the top saffron color indicates the strength and courage of the country. The white middle band indicates peace and truth with a navy blue wheel. The green shows the fertility, growth and auspiciousness of the land. In the center of the white band is a navy blue wheel which is also called the Ashok Chakra. The diameter of the wheel approximates the width of the white band and the wheel has 24 spokes. Next, we have the national emblem or the state emblem of India. The state emblem is an adaptation of the lion capital Originally found atop the Ashoka column at Sarnath which was established in 250 BC. The motto Satyamev Jayati below the emblem in Devanagari script means truth alone triumphs. A few more words about the inspiration behind our national emblem which is the lion capital. The capital has four Asiatic lions symbolizing power courage pride and confidence seated on a circular abacus the abacus is girded by four smaller animals a bull a horse a lion and an elephant symbolic of guardians of the four directions these are separated by intervening wheels over a bell shaped lotus carved out of a single block of polished sandstone the capital features the wheel of the law dharma chakra with 24 spokes these represent 24 hours in a day signifying that time cannot be bounded and its passage is inevitable currently the symbol is used by the government of india on all official documents that represent the republic of india it is the official seal of the president of india and the central and the state governments all indian currency passports and government official letterheads carry that symbol as well then we have the national anthem of india which is jan gan man Next we are going to play a proper rendition of the national anthem so please pay the due respect by standing up hands by your sides हिमाचल यमुना गंग उत्सल जल तब शुभ नाम जागे तब शुभ आशीष मांगे गाधे तब जय गाथा 
जन गण मंगल गायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे A few important points that we should know about our national anthem. The national anthem of India, Jan Gan Man, was composed originally in Bengali by Rabindranath Tagore. It was adopted in its Hindi version by the Constituent Assembly as the national anthem of India on 24 January 1950. Jan Gan Man was first sung on 27 December 1911. at the then calcutta session of the indian national congress a formal rendition of a national anthem takes 52 seconds equal in status to our national anthem we have another national symbol our national song which is vande matram our national song vande matram was composed in sanskrit by bankim chandra chatterjee the song was a part of bankim chandra's most famous novel anand mat which was published in 1882 the first political occasion when vande matram was sung was the 1896 session of the indian national congress the song was a source of inspiration to the people in their struggle for freedom It has an equal status with Jan Gan Man accorded by our former president Dr Rajendra Prasad through a statement in the Constituent Assembly on January 24 1950 Now let's talk about the currency symbol of India As we can expect this symbol denotes the Indian rupee and can be found on all currency notes and coins too The Indian rupee I also called INR is the official currency of the Republic of India. The issuance of the currency is controlled by the Reserve Bank of India. The Indian rupee symbol is an amalgamation of the Devanagari consonant r and the Latin letter r. The two parallel horizontal stripes these ones running at the top represent the national flag as well as the equal to sign the indian rupee sign was adopted by the government of india on 15 july 2010 it was designed by uday kumar dharmalingam the national animal of india is the bengal tiger Royal Bengal tiger ranks among the biggest cats in the world. The magnificent tiger is a striped animal. It has a thick yellow coat of fur with dark stripes. The combination of grace, strength, agility and enormous power has earned the tiger its pride of place as the national animal of India. It was adopted as the national animal of India in April 1973. due to the dwindling population of the tigers prior to the tiger the national animal of india was the lion the national bird of india is the peacock the indian peacock is a bird indigenous to the indian subcontinent the peacock is a colorful swan sized bird with a fan shaped crest of feathers a white patch under the eye and a long slender neck the male of the species is more colorful than the female with a glistening blue breast and neck and a spectacular bronze green tail of around 200 elongated feathers the dance of the male fanning out the tail and preening its feathers is a gorgeous sight The government of India declared the peacock as the national bird of India on February 1, 1963. Our national aquatic animal is the Ganges dolphin.
The Ganges River dolphin is an endangered freshwater or river dolphin found in the region of the Indian subcontinent. The creature is essentially blind. The South Asian river dolphin is primarily found in the Ganges, Yamuna, Chambal River, Brahmaputra River and their tributaries. The national fruit of India is mango. Mango is affectionately called the king of fruits. Its sweet fragrance and delectable flavors have won the hearts of many around the world since time immemorial. As the national fruit of India, it represents prosperity, abundance and richness in favor of the country's image. The national flower of India is Lotus. Lotus is an aquatic herb that is often termed as Padma in Sanskrit and enjoys a sacred status among the Indian culture. The lotus symbolizes spirituality, truthfulness, wealth, knowledge, illumination along with purity of heart and mind. Another natural symbol, the national tree of India is the banyan tree. Banyan tree, designated formally as Ficus bengalensis, is often symbol of the fabled Kalpa Vriksh or the tree of wish fulfillment as it is associated with longevity and has important medicinal properties. The very size and lifespan of the banyan tree makes it a habitat for a large number of creatures. Our national river is Ganga or the Ganges. Ganga originates in the snow fields of the Gangotri glacier in the Himalayas as the Bhagirathi river. According to the Hindus, this is the most sacred river on the earth. The Ganga is also the longest river in India covering 2510 km of mountains, plains and valleys. The major Indian cities through which it passes are Varanasi, Allahabad and Haridwar. The national reptile of India is King Cobra. King Cobra or snake eater is found in the forests of India and Southeast Asia. It is the world's longest venomous snake which can grow up to 19 feet and may live up to 25 years. King Cobra has an ability to inject 6 milliliter of venom in a single bite. It has its own cultural significance. In Hinduism, the species is also known as Nagas and is considered as divine and worshipped. Lord Shiva is often depicted with a cobra coiled around his neck. Our national heritage animal is the Indian elephant. In 2010, India's Environment Ministry declared the elephant native to mainland Asia as national heritage animal in order to increase protective measures for their endangered population. Elephants in Hinduism and the Indian culture are a symbol of intellectual strength and sturdy, earthy mental strength. It is a sacred animal and is considered the representation or the living incarnation of Lord Ganesha, the elephant-headed deity. Next national symbol is our national pledge, also called the Oath of Allegiance. The National Pledge is an oath of allegiance to the Republic of India. It is commonly recited by Indians in unison at public events, especially in schools and during the Independence Day and Republic Day celebrations. The pledge was originally composed in Telugu language by writer 
Pyathamari Venkat Subbar Rao in 1962. It was first read out in a school in Vishakhapatnam in 1963 and was subsequently translated into various regional languages. And finally, we have the national calendar, the Saka calendar. The national calendar based on the Saka era with Chatra as its first month and a normal year of 365 days was adopted from 22nd March 1957 along with the Gregorian calendar for the following official purposes. Gadget of India News broadcast by All India Radio Calendars issued by the Government of India Government communications addressed to the members of the public Dates of the national calendar have a permanent correspondence with dates of Gregorian calendar. First Chaitra falling on 22nd March normally and on 21st March in leap year. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thank you.